SCP-6106, Bibliophobia, was written by DXVI. You can find it on the SCP Wiki and a link in the description. It is under a Creative Commons Sharealike Attribution License. Item number 6106, Containment Class, Keter. Secondary Class, Uncontained. Disruption Class, Blom. Risk Class, Danger. Special Containment Procedures SCP-6106 is currently uncontained and its whereabouts are unknown. Alexandra AIC is to scan the Foundation database daily for SCP-6106 manifestations. All Foundation librarians and archivists are to be instructed on the nature of SCP-6106. In advance of containment, an isolation chamber has been constructed at ground level at Site-19. The chamber is a hemisphere of radius 20 meters with a safe fixed to the ground at the center. If SCP-6106 is contained, it and its host medium are immediately to be transported to the isolation chamber and locked in the safe. Security cameras are to maintain unbroken line of sight of the safe at all times. No text media or computer equipment of any kind are to be brought within 100 meters of SCP-6106 at any time. Until SCP-6106 is contained, Foundation librarians and archivists are not permitted to consult site archives alone or out of sight of security cameras. Site archives must remain well lit at all times. Description SCP-6106 is an ambush predator of indeterminate mass and shape. Its hunting method is to change its shape to camouflage itself as a piece of text, usually an additional page in a book or a web page on a website matching the style and voice of the host medium. It then remains dormant for an extended period of time until a victim reads SCP-6106. If at any point a victim is left alone and unsupervised while reading SCP-6106, they will be suddenly and swiftly devoured by SCP-6106, and the victim's body will disappear into whatever medium SCP-6106 is inhabiting. Without exception, no trace of the victim has been left after an attack by SCP-6106. SCP-6106 displays at least some sentience, although the extent of its knowledge and understanding is uncertain. It has never been documented to attack anyone who was accompanied or otherwise under visual supervision. If observers express suspicion about SCP-6106's hiding spot or if it determines that it will have better chances of finding victims elsewhere, it appears to leap or escape into a nearby suitable host medium. For example, it may enter into a neighboring book or leap from a book to a computer or vice versa. It appears to be able to leap up to 10 meters, but greater locomotion cannot be ruled out. The text SCP-6106 adopts as camouflage is invariably highly informative about SCP-6106. For example, when it inhabited Wikipedia, it appeared as a clear and helpful article about SCP-6106. While in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, it appeared as a Care of Magical Creatures lesson about SCP-6106 given by the character Rubius Hagrid. There are currently two leading hypotheses for this behavior. Its self-referential text is analogous to coloration in a non-anomalous animal. In other words, SCP-6106 has no control over the process and it simply looks like a description of itself. Or, SCP-6106 is not merely sentient but sapient and enjoys taunting its victims before consuming them. Notably, the camouflage is so informative about SCP-6106 that it routinely includes information that would be unknown to the purported author of the host medium, such as detailed facts about its whereabouts and history. Although this feature could allow an observer to detect SCP-6106 by its anomalous detail, its main consequence is that a piece of text with a helpful and informative description of SCP-6106 is likely to be SCP-6106 itself. However, by the time the reader realizes this, 